Some call it rotten, some call it good. I call it beautiful. Let's see what we can make out of this old hunk of pine. It's all weather beaten, bug eaten, soup, a lot of texture on it. I'm going to use a, uh, make a bowl that I learned from the Rebel Turner. And uh, he doesn't do a lot on that channel anymore, but there's still great videos on there. I've learned a lot from that channel. He also has a new channel, which I will leave the link down below for. Alright, I'm starting this one off at about 300 RPMs try to get some speed on it it's pretty balanced I'm gonna come in this way on the bottom real light as not to knock off these little ribs because they're gonna be pretty fragile at the bottom they'll probably be gone anyhow and I'll just make the bottom round but I want to practice plunging in with the light touch until I get up to where it's important here we go Oh, my face mask fell off. It's back on. Okay, here we go. bit of fat wood in this pine I can smell it pine is usually very soft but with all the uh, all the resin in there it's a little bit grabby not doing too bad on breaking off my wings We'll continue on, and I'll turn you back on when I get my tenon made up. All right, I got my tenon formed. There's down at the bottom. Um, I got my outside uh, foot. Uh, I left it a little rough and rustic, but I am sure it will hold nice and level. There's a lot of fat wood in here, so this should be interesting. Now it's time to cut in here and establish where the bottom of my top is going to be bottom of my top yeah that makes sense and then I'll take away from here down and then I have to plunge up and under for the uh, I don't know if I told you this is called a droop over bowl or mushroom type bowl and then, uh, let's fire it up and watch the shrapnel fly so far it hasn't been too awful Alright, uh, we're getting a rough in. Let's 
going pretty decent uh, not a crazy amount flying off a little bit here and there but not bad uh, it's got some pretty nice grain to it but it sure does smell good the dust packs together so I'm gonna have to uh, sweep this stuff up and save it for fire starter all in all not too bad I'm gonna go in deeper and establish my uh, foot down here go in till I start hitting a little bit of solid wood and uh, then we'll start going up in the fun part turn you back on Awesome. <clears throat> Tell you what, this one isn't for the faint at heart. Nope, let me shut her off. See, uh, take a look at our progress. Sticky. where we want to be I think uh, well if it's gonna fly it's gonna fly I don't think uh, CA glue will work too good alright I'm gonna continue hollowing this out and getting a mushroom effect to it and uh, try to get the bottom of my bowl established <sighs> it's hard to get the fence in there to get the leverage. I'll see what I can do to manipulate it. Turn you back on the few. A little handful of that sawdust. It's like throwing kerosene in there. Woohoo! Stuff goes pretty good. party Super sticky. It's awesome. Hard to cut though. I have to keep sweeping up the floor because it's sticking to my boots. Alright, now I gotta be real careful because I actually have my fence inside these wings. So I'm really gonna have to pay attention to the back of my hand. Try to do everything from this angle. We'll see.
I don't know, it's kind of iffy. I kind of like to get rid of that rotten spot right there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go deep enough. So I'm going to go ahead and stabilize all this, and I see it goes in here. I'm going to have to stable. I'm going to stabilize all that. So let me CA glue that, and then I'll get back with you. All right. So I decided to stop where I'm at on this. I got it all super glued up and uh, feels pretty stiff, but I decided to uh, flip it around, put it the tenon in the jaws, and get some of this weight off this before I get any more delicate on this center post. So I got it ready to go. Let me uh, get my face shield and my uh, headphones on, and I'll turn you back on. See where we're at. Quite a bit of fat wood in this piece. I'm just going to keep chipping away at it. I want to get this rounded up first so I can see how, what kind of taper I need here to make it look decent. See the concept. I'm going to leave it right there because on a couple of these big wings, the taper starts like right here. I need to cut these off shorter from the underside. But I pretty much got the shape that I want for the top. A lot of fat wood in this top of it or bottom. decent to me. I learned the hard way <coughs> the best way to get a nice finish on fat wood is not to sand it. Use a real sharp scraper. Comes out a lot nicer. Uh, this stuff as soon as you touch the sandpaper to it it clogs it up. So a little bit more rounding tapering and I think I got it good enough all right I think I got the taper on it looking pretty good instead of coming up from under and risk busking these off I just taper pulled my uh,
this taper down lower and actually expose some of the wood I think I like it better so it leaves some dark like this one but some it actually makes like a highlight so I think I actually like it better I'm glad I did that well I got my uh, circle for the top here marked out I'm gonna plunge in and see how far we can go with the little pointy unsupported so I'm taking very light cuts I don't want no catches I don't want any catches very light cuts It might take forever. I'll turn you back on in a few when I make some headway. life center back in there I'm just putting a little dent in the bottom of the bowl and we're gonna start chiseling right away at the stem so to speak uh, let me come up with some kind of shape in my mind and then I'll turn you back on I'm going to keep it pretty simple on this one. How's that? Okay, that'll work. Let me refine this a little bit. I think that will look just fine. A little bit of scraping maybe. This stuff is really hard to get smooth. I think I'm going to quit pushing my luck. <laughs> Call me a chicken if you dare. I think that looks pretty okay. Got some profile on it. It's just not blando. I'll see if I can touch up this bead a little bit. But it's just, I can't get the angle because of the little fins hanging down. 
I think I'm going to take this right down to a point. Bingo. down just a little bit more keep messing around with it next thing you know bang okay yeah it's pretty much going away I think I'm just gonna scrape it off and do the best I can do with the scraper if I can get it in there I need to get me a round nose scraper Oh, look at that. Sweet. That's it. I'm calling it. Yeah, it's pretty simple. But I like it. It'll work. Alright, uh... This is pretty dry in here. I'm going to get some sandpaper in there and touch this up. I got to smooth over a few little things like right there. I got a kind of a burr. I'm just going to touch this up in here with some sandpaper and get some finish on it. I'll turn you back on in a sec. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to get a finish on it, and then if I find any fuzzies or anything, I'll just go at it with a razor knife and cut them off. I hear critters outside. I hope they're friendlies. Sounds like it's on the roof. And it's about 8 o'clock at night. That's not normally squirrel time as, as far as I know. I really like the contrast between the light and the dark. Looks pretty awesome. Um... From my last video, I got two requests for a segmented bowl. So I'm trying to think up something to do. See what kind of scrap lumber I have around the hacienda. And I'll try to do one. Should be interesting. I got another request for spoon. Try to make a spoon. And that one I find rather interesting because when I chopped up that oak tree this spring, summer, or whatever it was, I was saving oddball looking pieces of wood that were hold on a second and I'll show you. Like from around a knot and they had the basic rough shape of a spoon. I've been studying YouTube and other places, mostly YouTube, looking at techniques for turning spoons on a lathe. <laughs> I see a pencil mark right there I forgot to get out. Hold on a minute, I'll show you. Here's one of the blanks I saved. It's a natural there was a knot here and then the wood split around it. So it's kind of a natural. See it? 
So I just got to find a way to turn this, and a, turning the handle wouldn't be that hard. And then turning out the spoon, and then flipping it, and getting the back side of it nice. Probably the back side would come first. Boo boo. But I got a whole, like a five gallon bucket full of these that I want to try out. A little experimentation. But that should be fun. But this is looking pretty decent. I haven't made too many of these. I've made a couple. Like mm, three or four. And like I was saying earlier, I uh, learned the technique from El Furtado from the, uh, oh shoot, Rebel Turner channel. I binged watch him like crazy when I decided he was one of the deciding factors that the reason I got a lathe. And there's many other good channels out there, as you know if you're into that kind of thing. Lots out there to find, but there was something about El Furtado that he liked turning this rough looking stuff. Forgive me if I get this wrong. Also, I don't know why I want to say Anderson. Phil Anderson, if that's his right name. If not, I'll fix it down below or just cut that out. He's awesome from Shady Acres. I'm sure you know him. This is just a base coat, sanding coat. But I really like this kind of stuff. It's a little, you don't see it too often. Kind of off the wall, different. I gave one to my neighbor and she actually said that a candle, one of the big fat candles, fit perfectly in there. So she uses it as a candle holder for display. She doesn't burn the candle all night long and forget about it and start a forest fire, but she said it looks really nice and she gets a lot she gets compliments on it, so that's cool. I'm thinking of potpourri you can go to a good health food store and they'll have natural potpourri. This stuff is awesome. So, give me a few minutes and I'll, uh, through the magic of video, get this dried up in a millisecond and flip it around and take the tenon off. See you in the blink of an eye. Alright, folks. Uh, I'll come back this morning and give it a very fine scrape after I put that finish on it and it came out pretty darn smooth. I'm going to pop it out of the jaws right now. Looks pretty decent. It's heavy. I'm going to pop it out of the jaws so I can make a little lid for it if the lid works out. I'm just going to put it between centers to start with and then I'll make a tenon on it and flip it around put it in the jaws. I made the uh, hole in the top of the bowl the same size as what I need for a tenon to fit in the jaws so that should work out pretty decent. Let me move you here a sec. I think I'm just going to go ahead and center it on the pith. Um, no, I better go a little off center. But level with the pith, anyhow. Of pressure on it until I can get a tenon made on it, and then we can come back. 
There's going to be some shrap shrapnel flying on this one. That's okay. I have a long gouge. I can stay out of the way. Hair below center. All right, let me get this rounded up and I'll turn you back on. All right, that's enough of that. Let me get you rounded up and then I'll turn you back on. All right, I got the basic shape I want. I'm going to try something a little different and try to make this right here into a little knob on the top. If it works out, it'll be great. If not, I can just drill a hole through it and make a pineal. Uh, let's see if I can do it. I had to kind of guess on this center because I didn't transfer my uh, point going through there. So forgive me if I'm off a little. Not too bad. I slowed it way down because I got so much stuff hanging out. Oh, this is ridiculous. that nub down small enough just to whack it once with the chisel and we should be good to go. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to get a coat of finish on this thing. First of all, let me back you up. Turned out kind of cute, I think. Let me get a coat of finish on it, and then I'll uh, put some pictures in to finish up the rest of this video. Hold on, I'll get the cap. The cap isn't real pretty, but it's kind of cute. It fits okay. I left a little gap under it because, I don't know, most important thing is the knob. But chances are it's not going to be on there long anyhow, but looks pretty good. Alright, let me get some finish on it and I'll just send you some pictures. <laughs> 